Howdy folks, Corky Duke here, Bomber Crew is the game, and Simon and Simon is the name. This is a brand new bomber and campaign that I'm starting of one of my absolute favorite TV shows of all time. I remember watching the pilot show, uh, Details at 11, when it came out. I think it was 1981. And I just absolutely fell in love with this show from the very first watch. Um, so let's meet the crew. For the pilot, we got Cecilia Simon, which uh, who is played by Mary Carver. Who sadly passed away in 2013, but she uh, played the boys AJ, Rick and AJ's mom in the series. So, for the top turret gunner, we've got Master Sergeant Richard Simon. Yes, my the character on the show that I can probably relate the most to, because uh, we're both former Marines. Gerald McRaney, he was played by Gerald McRaney, by the way, was also a Marine in Vietnam. So I wasn't in Vietnam, no, that was just a kid in Vietnam was going on. I served the Marine Corps from 1986 to 90. Okay, for the Navigator, we got First Lieutenant Janet Fowler. They're a friend in the series and uh, wind up dating both AJ and Rick, which I think was a writing mistake uh, because it just didn't make any sense when you watched the whole series. But anyway, uh, still, uh, she was played by... What was her name? Oh, crap, I can't believe it. I'm going to have to look up her, what her, the name of the actress was. I can't remember it right now. Anyway... For the radio operator, Staff Sergeant Myra Fowler, again, I can't remember his his name. I will dig these uh, actress or actresses' names up because I feel embarrassed right now. I'm not prepared. But anyway, I want to get this campaign started. Okay, so I'll look up Janet and Myron's uh, uh, real names uh, uh, when I'm done with this mission and we'll announce it on this mission number two. Okay, for the tailgunner, we got Downtown Brown, played by Tim Reed. We also know him as Venus Flytrap from WKRP in Cincinnati. Now, the ball turret gunner is none other than A.J. Simon himself, played by Jameson Parker. And uh, the left waist gunner is Sergeant Nixon, uh, Officer Nixon. Uh, done all I could to try to find out the character's first name. He was played by Scott Murphy, uh, but I couldn't find any info at all on the character's first name. So, And the right waist gunner is Temple Hill, played by Daphne Maxwell, who was actually Tim Reed's wife in real life. They got married. So anyway, and uh, for the bombardier, we got First Lieutenant Abigail Marsh, played by Joan McMurtry. Now, she had also played in uh, No Way Out, and I'm trying to think of what character she was, because I'm familiar with that movie, but I can't remember who what character she played in that movie. So I'm going to have to dig in more into that. But anyway, let's check out the aircraft. And we got the Simon and Simon Bomber. Here we go. All right, let's take a look at the nose art, which I always do. And there it is. Simon and Simon with the little magnifying glass. Okay, the engine art is the yellow checker. Wing art, round at one. Same thing with waist art. Tail art. Rick's Power Wagon. Woohoo! Yeah. Oh, I love that truck. That was a great truck. All right, and the waist text. Details at 11, which is the name of their pilot episode. So let's get started. Let's head off on our first mission for the brand new campaign. Uh, one of my favorite TV shows of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, the target for today is Tunis. Operation Torch has been a fine success. Now we've got to consolidate our foothold in North Africa. The enemy holding out at Tunis is stockpiling weapons. Well, ammunition. Stockpiling ammunition. Let's send it up in smoke. So here we go. Now, since I came up with the idea of these different concepts um, and started with the TV show, which the first TV show I started with was the 18, I wanted to do Simon and Simon. There was just no doubt I would do it. So, but for some reason, I just waited and I waited. But I'm going to stop procrastinating tomorrow. So, I don't know if you know a whole lot about me, but uh, I uh, have been the president of the National Procrastinator Society of America for the last 15 years. We have yet to have our first meeting. So, anyway. We'll get a couple of screenshots of this beautiful bobber. Maybe black. It's the color. And now we gotta wait for the enemy who will show up. There's absolutely no doubt of it in my mind. <clears throat> And like I said, there they are. 
They never disappoint. Who's gonna get the be the first one to get a kill? We've got three different gunners. Richard. Rick got it. Alright, Rick. Good job, buddy. Played by Gerald McRaney. Alright, like I said, he's the character I can relate the most to on the show. Get Abby to the other side. get a bunch of screenshots here. That's a good one right there. Shows Rick's power wagon there on the tail. <laughs> I like it. One one side the power wagon's going forward, the other side it's going in reverse to the other side. Oh, uh, that's cool. All right. There we are on the bomb run. Uh, this is a quiet bomb run too, not a whole lot of anti-aircraft guns. In reality, the Germans, any valuable target, the Germans, whoa, oh that sucks would load, literally load up the target area with anti-aircraft batteries. And it make it very difficult. And their aim wasn't always to shoot down bombers. It was to throw them off aim. But in reality, it did shoot down a lot of bombers. Or heavily damage them. So they had a difficult time. They would fall out of format, basically. A common strategy was they would damage them so badly that they would fall out of formation and that made them pray for German fighters. Because the German fighters didn't want to attack the formations of B-17s, but if they saw a lone B-17 or a couple of B-17s flying by themselves, they would jump all over them. Because it made them a lot easier to uh, shoot down. So we lost a lot of crews that way. All right, we'll take a picture of this thing and head for home. All right, son, let's head for home. Where's that thing at? Oh, I need to close the Bombay door. Definitely need to close the drop aid door. What's wrong with me? It's usually a habit I do. Alrighty, any more unpacked fighters? I don't see any. Oh, there's one. Gotta get these things tagged so our gunners can shoot them down. Beautiful. Alrighty. Ah. Of course. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Get him, Rich. Come on, Rick. Fix that thing. There we got more of them coming in. Follow these navigation points. 
That one's going to put us on a direct line with home. Well, all right. Fix it. Back in the gun station. There they are. Most of these are World War I Italian biplanes. There are a few, a couple of British 109s in there. Which are one of Germany's best fighters. Not the best fighter Germany had, but one of their best. VF 109s. Engine number one. I got no way of putting the fire out. I've already used my one engine extinguisher. So that fire is just going to keep burning, but we're almost home. So it'll fall off eventually. Or just stop working. Yeah, it's going to stop working. Now I can have Rick fix it, but I'm not going to. We've still got engines three and four 100%. So. All we gotta do is land now. Fighters are gone, they disengage. So. Hmm. Hope this is not a sign of what this campaign is gonna be like. <laughs> I definitely don't wanna take casualties on this one. Well, I don't wanna take casualties on any bomber I fly. With the possible exception of my next bomber. <clears throat> anyway, you'll find out what that is. So, and I'm doing it all for fun. Yeah, fun. All right, and that's it for the first uh, mission. Or Simon and Simon. Hopefully, we can end this campaign in 24 more missions. Focus. Oh, downtown get a focus. Good. Um, let's see. I've done this before. I think I'm going to do it again. Um, put them out with the flight suit so we can fly medium altitude without getting cold. Yeah, it only costs $990, so let's do that. That's the only thing I can really buy. <coughs> Excuse me. So, does it slow their speed down? It shouldn't. It does. By 10%. Alright. Well, I want them to fly comfortable at medium altitude, so. Alrighty. That's it. I'm Corky Duke, CorkyDuke.com is my website. And this was the first mission of Simon & Simon, my brand new campaign. Hope you liked it. Like, uh, comment, and share my videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'd appreciate your help. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye.